Jason Guy here in the West Street Breaking News Center. A man's been rushed to the hospital this morning after falling off a tram at OIA. Airport officials tell us that tram was on a manual run. The man who fell was the only person on board. West Tooth Jasmine Walker is live near the scene. And Jasmine, what are airport officials telling you this morning? Well, so far, Jason, we know that that man fell from an elevated portion of the tram here at OIA. We are live outside of the airport. We've been here for about 30 or so minutes pulling off of the 417 to come onto airport property. And when we got here, we did see that tram kind of stalled on the tracks. Also, Orlando police, other emergency vehicles on scene surrounding it, as well as crime scene tape below the tracks where that man fell. Now, we do have some video taken from a passenger on board one of those uh, trams there that we can show you. Right now, we just know that the spokesperson from the airport says that that train was being driven manually. As Jason was saying, one person was on the tram at the time. That is the person that fell off and was taken to Florida Hospital East. We do not know his condition at this time or any injuries. We're still working on that. We can tell you that there is a, a, that train that was uh, running where he fell off from is now off out of service. So for anyone that's actually coming to OIA this morning, we do have some good news. There is another tram that is transporting passengers back and forth. However, you may want to expect delays if you do have a flight this morning. We're going to stay out here and give you updates on CW18 as well as the news at noon. Reporting in at Orlando International Airport, Jasmine Walker, West 2 News. And Jasmine, we continue our team coverage now with West 2's Eric Burris. He's also at the airport. Eric, what are you seeing from where you are? And when you arrived earlier, what kind of presence did you see from emergency responders? Sure. Well, on the passenger aspect of things, because that's kind of how I traveled out here as a passenger. Uh, through security, not any problem. No busier or uh, less busy than a normal Friday morning. Uh, but going through here, uh, on heading toward the air side, typically there are those two trams. Only one is in service. So I did notice more volume. And as the tram was actually passing by the stalled tram, as Jasmine had mentioned, uh, there was uh, some commotion on the uh, uh, vehicle. Folks asking, you know, what had happened, things like that. Crime scene, vehicles on scene. Uh, but all in all, at least from this uh, point of view, there's no greater delay, just a little little bit more volume on those uh, vehicles as they're heading to and from the air side. And uh, just to give you an idea, if you are heading out here, it's gates 1 through 29. So American Airlines, Alaskan Airlines, uh, and folks like that. Again, no big impact, no need to get to the airport any earlier, but still from where I'm at, I can see about a half dozen OPD officers investigating both on the elevated platform and on the ground area below, Jason. All right, Eric Burris, live force at Orlando International Airport. As Eric said, there is another train running that should help keep from delays for passengers at the airport. We're following this breaking news from here in the West 2 newsroom, and we'll bring you the very latest on air or online inside the West 2 app.